Hello everybody, uh, how you doing? Hope you've all had a good week. Um, hope you enjoyed the Insalavilla Russa, the Russian salad. This week I thought I'd do some, a meat, a hot meat dish. Um, pollo and ajillo. Pollo is chicken, ajillo comes from ajo, which is garlic, so chicken and garlic. Doesn't take long, under an hour from start to finish. Get loads of chicken, about two kilos that is, do more, do less, up to you. A whole clove of garlic, smash it all up, then we're gonna cut it up fine, throw it in the chicken with a cup of wine, a little bit of olive oil mixed in, a chicken stock cube with a tiny bit of water to dissolve it, throw it all over the top, cover it up with some cling film, put it in the fridge, preferably overnight, but a couple of hours will do it. Uh, also, once you've got the cling film over it, put the whole tray inside a carrier bag because the smell tends to come out the cling film and stinky your fridge up a little bit. Um, so I'll see you after the marinade. Right, so uh, we've got the chicken, good old spring of salt over the old lot. And we've got one chicken stock cube dissolved in some boiling water. Fill it up. Good plug of wine. So virtually, I don't know what that is, 200 mil, 250, I don't know. Better cups, Lloyd. Got that. You got your whole bulb of garlic. Sling it all in there, a the whole bulb. So, wine. Don't worry about it not covering it, doesn't matter, let it suck it all up. Give it a good old rummage about. Wash your hands first. There we go. Just like that. Good old ramage. Then cover it up with cling film, stick the old lot in a carrier bag and stick it in the fridge for overnight if you can, but a couple of hours will do it. And that's it really. And then uh, after it's done, we'll go to the cooking stage. See you then. Okay, so we've had it in a marinade for uh, overnight and I'm gonna stick it in the oven there. Go oven at 220 degrees, take it down to 200. 20 minutes one side, 10 minutes the other, 15 minutes the other, then five minutes back on the original side and it's done. So under 40 minutes, they're done. Right, this, this is after the first 20 minutes, so we're gonna give them a nice turn, whack them back in for another 15 and flip them back over. Another five, should be done. Now after turning it a couple of times, I drain it off of the juice and then what we do is we pour a little bit over to baste it, keep basting it, and you may want to adjust your cooking times depending on the strength of your oven. Some ovens need more, some ovens need less. So this is after 20 minutes on the other side, baste it a bit more and then give it five minutes on the last side and it should be done. But as I say, keep checking on it as you're turning it over and over, you'll see whether it needs more, whether it needs less, but the important thing is to keep basting it and keep turning it. Okay, so once we've drained off a lot of the, uh, the, the juice, um, what I like to do is peel up a couple of spuds, cut them up, parboil them, and start to do some roasties with um, the, some of the juice of the chicken and the garlic. And what, oh, it's lovely, superb, yeah, look, just a few of them. And it takes 20 minutes, the last 20 minutes of your chicken will do you the last 20 minutes, some lovely spuds. Um, now, you may think, why am I doing all this? Well, I love cooking and I love Spanish food and uh, I'm a Londoner, but from Spain, know what I mean? And it's just something I want to give to you. I've got nothing else to do and, and I love it. Um, it's not about having the best ingredients and the best money can buy. Most people haven't got the money. Um, it's just buy the best you can afford and just cook with anything you got at hand. That's the Spanish way. Um, right, so now let's just get on with it. So anyway, we've got it out of the oven. Uh, much, after much top tossing and turning and basting and all the rest of it, um, you end up with this. Pollo al ajillo. I've chopped some fresh coriander and fresh basil, couple of bits of lemon. I like a bit of lemon juice on my chicken, it tastes lovely, the Greeks like it too. You can do what you like with it, bit of mayo, whatever. This is traditional Spanish pollo al ajillo, chicken and garlic, the way my mother makes it, the way my grandmother used to make it, the way many Spaniards make it. You can have a modern twist to it, Spanish cuisine has got a modern twist. Great little restaurant opposite Leadenhall Market in the city called Barcelona Tapas. They do traditional Spanish food with a modern twist. Try it out, it's pretty good. But anyway, here you have pollo al ajillo, chicken and garlic, 
traditional style. Thank you all very much for watching. I um, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week with a, another culinary well, delight, whatever. Thanks a lot. Take care, everyone. Hasta luego. Buen provecho.